it's Simon here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to plant some of these beauties. These are Victoria, Victorian Colossal Climbing Pea Seeds. And the beauty about these things is that they grow really high. So about typically six to eight feet in height. Um, so that means you need canes to support them. Um, the commercial growers don't grow these because they're too difficult to harvest. Um, but they're supposed to be a really good pea. I've never grown them before, but here's a first time. So I got these, if you're interested, I got these from a place called the Victor Victoriana Nursery Seeds. You can get them on the internet. And what I did, I planted these about, uh, planted some seeds about three weeks ago. And uh, they're now decent looking plants. So I'm going to show you how to, uh, to put those in and uh, in fact I'll show you a little bit about uh, what they look like at the moment and um, how, I, how I planted them. So these are, the, these are the plants at the moment as they stand. Um, they've been in about three weeks as I say, three to four weeks perhaps. And you can see a lot of them I used just a simple toilet roll or kitchen kitchen roll center and I planted two seeds per roll and I pushed them about two inches down inside ordinary seed compost. Uh, just kept them moist and well watered. They were inside the greenhouse and uh, that's why they've grown quite well um, but they're now ready for planting out. Right I'm going to use these two pots for planting up my uh, giant peas so uh, I'm going to be supporting them with canes, like wigwams, uh, so they've got something to grow up. What I've put in here is just my own compost from the garden, and I've also mixed in some pelleted chicken manure to give it some fertiliser. I'm now going to put on some uh, traditional cotton compost. I'm going to put about a three inches layer on the top of there, and that'll just ensure that I don't get any weeds coming through from the compost out the garden. Right, now because these beans grow so very tall, you need to provide good support for them. So I've got these eight foot long bamboo canes, which are going to do fine. You can use ordinary pea sticks or uh, you can use wire mesh or plastic uh, pea netting. As long as you've got something strong to give them some support to keep them up because they're going to, as I say, they're going to go to about eight feet high. So I'm just going to put those into the pots now. them into like a wigwam at the top so I need them to be firmly pressed down. I might even need some uh, ladders to get up to the top of this. Just make them angled in a wee bit to the, the centre. I think five canes will do it perfectly. And what I'll do is I'll need to tie those up at the top. Right up there. Right, so having got my trusty uh, little ladder there, I'm going to uh, tie these things up at the top. Just going to use a bit of string here. Should be fine. So at the, at the top here now, what I've got is the, the poles tied off, and you can see that uh, I've also put in some supports back to the, the top of the greenhouse here. That's because it's quite a windy position here, so uh, 
I know from experience that these things will blow over if we don't put some kind of string support on them. So now for planting. So, each of these little peas should be okay. This one's had a little run down the garden by one of the dogs, so it might not be okay. But we'll wait and see. So I'm just going to simply put this in, with the cardboard and everything, at the full depth of the cardboard, just to the same height. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put two, two of the pea plants per section, per pole. So the same depth that they were planted. Just firm them in gently. These worked really well. The, the roots are quite uh, quite superb on the bottom of there. Doesn't have to be exact. And what I'll do is I'll tie these in to just get them started, then they'll climb on their own. That's one of them done. So I'm just going to uh, tie these on with a bit of string now and we'll see how they get on. So what you can see now is that I've tied each of these peas up with a little bit of string just to keep it going. I'm going to see how they get on climbing up the canes. If I find that they're waving about everywhere then I might have to put some netting on here as well. I'll just wait and see on that one. I'm hoping that they'll just be like runner beans and curl around the poles and go up. So uh, we'll see. So that's both um, pots done. All I need to do now is give them a bit of a water in. really helps the soil to settle down around the roots and it's very important with pots to make sure that you do water them frequently. Now these ones will be uh, connected up to my automated watering system which is just a tube with sprinklers on it and uh, it'll be on the main system as well so it can be computer controlled. So it makes it very easy for watering. But you definitely don't want these pots to dry out at all. So I'll see how we get on and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.